shit guys, you just found the best video on the internet in the history of mankind. Good for you, out of all the videos you could have clicked on, you found the greatest one ever made. And today, we are gonna get into something so fascinating, ever so fascinating. First of all, you're gonna find out how to have the intensity of a Komodo dragon. Sorry, very bad Komodo dragon impression. We're gonna show you guys how to get the strength of Xena, the warrior princess. Wait, there's only like 3% females who watch this channel. Okay, never mind the analogies, but what we're gonna get into today is how to go from 12% body fat all the way down to 8% body fat. And this is something that I've done a lot in my life. In fact, I pretty much fluctuate between 12 and 8% body fat year round. And I'm gonna give you guys, I'm just gonna lay it like, lay it on you guys. Just lay the smack down, seven things you have to do. And it's gonna be a little cheat list. And if you do these seven things, I guarantee you, in 30 days or less, you could realistically go from 12% to 8% body fat. Hey, mom, no, hold on, hold on one second, mom. I'm actually shooting the greatest YouTube video ever made. No, listen to me right now. We both know that f***ing meatloaf was overcooked. I do not want to come home to overcooked meatloaf one more time or I'm going to lose my f***ing mind. Sorry about that, guys. Just had to uh, take care of some business. But um, getting into the good stuff, let's make the greatest video ever made. Tip number one is going to be a game changer. And I want you to think of every single action that you took the previous day and how it's going to have a compound effect and how it is going to affect you the very first minute of the next day when you wake up. Now, think for a split second right now. Actually, think for more than a second. Think for like five minutes. Think of the best days you've ever had in your life. Think of those days when you woke up. You know, you have your dream girl, your Tinder date, to your right or your left, whatever it may be. You're excited, you're ready to work out. You're full of energy, ambition. Your dreams seem like they're so close within reach. Now, think about how you acted that very first minute when you woke up. Chances are that you weren't sluggish, you weren't lethargic, you weren't kind of like dreading the day. You probably popped out of bed and had excited thoughts. Now, where I'm getting at, where I'm getting at with this point on how you're gonna get from 12% to 8% body fat in a very short period of time is the first minute that you wake up, you have got to be excited to eat clean, to get a little more ripped, to crush a workout. Every single time that I have an amazing workout that I just crush it all day long, it all started the day before. So that's what's really amazing about all these things and why I kind of want to start off with the mental side of things is what you do the day before is gonna have an extreme carryover effect, literally to the point where if you eat a bunch of bad food, you're lazy, you had a negative day, you're kind of like stuck in your head, the very first minute of the next day when you wake up, it's gonna be very tough building that momentum. But when you have an amazing day, and it has a carryover effect, that first minute you're in a good mood, you're ready to work out, you're ready to eat clean, you just have an awesome mindset. And it's so easy once you get in say like seven, eight, nine of these days in a row, it becomes so easy to get from say 12% to 8% body fat. In fact, I was cutting right before I went to the Columbia trip to get a bunch of pictures taken. I was kind of like under the knife. I had a very limited time to get cut. And I, ha I was like binging on so much junk food and all of a sudden I told myself, no more. I started making amazing decisions. The first three, four days were the toughest, but I started waking up, seeing myself get a little bit more ripped every single day and focused every single decision on how will it affect me the first minute that I wake up the very next day? If you guys want to win a free bottle of Alpha Shredder, make sure to follow the brand new Alpha Lion Instagram account at alpha.lion. Tag a friend in the Monday's giveaway post. Make sure you give us a follow and turn on post notifications. And every single Friday, we're going to announce the winner on the Instagram stories. So we're gonna make it really fun. We're gonna document the journey of creating the pre-workout, creating all of our products, um, as obviously on the YouTube channel, but also on the Alpha Lion Instagram account. So look for the first giveaway post on Monday. Tip number two in this one, I guarantee you, 
I guarantee you, in fact, I will come to your doorstep, I will cook you dinner, I will tuck you in at night, I will give you a briefcase <laughs> full of straight cash if you do this tip and you don't get ripped. Because nobody does this. I tell everyone to do this. Please be the three people out of the 40,000 subscribers I think we have right now on the channel that actually takes action and does this. Just do this and it will change your life. So typically you're eating three to five meals a day unless you're doing some crazy diet where you only eat one time a day. So what I want you guys to do is, this is what I want you guys to do. Before your three biggest meals of the day, I want you to get a bottle of carbonated water, aka club soda, and I want you to squeeze half of a lemon or a lime in it. Now, before you put anything in your mouth, anything, I want you to drink 16 ounces of club soda. Damn mosquitoes. 16 ounces of club soda and half of a lemon or lime. Squeeze that bitch in there. I want you to drink it. Now the fun begins. Now I want you to take a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, dilute it in some water, like 12 to 16 ounces of water, and then I want you to chug that. Now, not only is this really healthy, not only does it alkalize you, detox your body, boost your energy, help with digestion, potassium, a bunch of stuff, what it also does is it's going to make you very full. In fact, I guarantee you, you will eat 500 to 600 less calories every single day and you will uh, not be hungry at all. So this is an amazing trick because, keep them on, getting shredded, going from 12% body fat to 8% body fat, you guys don't wanna be hungry, you don't wanna hate your life. So this is such an easy insurance policy to uh, basically do something really healthy for your body and also make you really full and just naturally consume less calorie. Claude, I was seeing if you had reservations for two available at Dorcia around 8.30 p.m. tonight. What do you mean there's nothing available? For three months? Are you, are you fucking kidding me, Claude? Dorcia's booked up, guys. All right. Anyways, what the hell was I saying? Oh, yeah. Tip number three. This goes back to, uh, I'm actually gonna reverse engineer. I'm gonna give myself a shout out on Instagram here. Make sure you guys follow me. And I was just posting about this on my Instagram. I'll put the post up on the screen right now. And uh, what this is, is I know you guys, and even this video title, it's just prying on lack of patience. But I can promise you that every single day, I want you to focus on each day, like doing as much as you can, but at the same time, like not having the mindset where you're like so impatient about the whole process of it all. And I like to use this analogy of uh, Rafael Nadal, the tennis player. So if you watch Rafael Nadal play, think of each point as each day in your life of trying to lose body fat and transform your physique. So when you watch Rafael Nadal play, it's like he literally doesn't even like have, he, he doesn't like mentally comprehend if it's like an important point, not an important point, he just goes all out every single point. The guy is insane. He's one of my favorite athletes of all time. So he could be completely destroying a guy. He could be at 40 love on serve and he's going all out on every single point. Like he doesn't even comprehend like, maybe I should take it a little bit easy. Maybe I should rest my body right here. Maybe I shouldn't break my clavicle to uh, you know get every single point on this guy because I know I'm gonna win the match. I'm already way ahead of him. But it's a really interesting metaphor to take a look at because so many people get like overwhelmed and they're thinking like, oh, I'm like stressed out. I gotta look a certain way in two weeks. I got that Tinder date, I got that wedding, I got that whatever the hell you guys are trying to get shredded for. And you guys are not enjoying the process. You're not putting all of your energy and emphasis on the day to day. So I want you guys, instead of thinking about where you wanna look at, what, what you wanna look like in three months, I want you to focus and put 150 million percent on what you do every single day because it is your decisions and your actions on a daily basis that are going to compound and give you epic results over a short period of time. So uh, understand that there's gonna be adversity, you gotta deal with perseverance, there's gonna be a lot of obstacles that are gonna come along your way. But if you just focus and put all of your energy on what you do that day with your workouts, with your nutrition, doing these little hacks like the apple cider vinegar, the club soda before you eat, you guys are gonna look back and over the course of 30 days, you're gonna all of a sudden go from say 12% to eight to 9% body fat because you dialed in to the details.
So, I think we're on tip number four. So tip number four is, I want you guys, so keep in mind, this is kind of like a little checklist of things I want you guys to do every single day, every single week, whatever it may be. This is a weekly checklist right here. And I don't care how many you do per day, I don't care if they're all within the span of two days or four days, do this. It will change your life. It will boost your human growth hormone. It will boost your testosterone. It will boost your energy. It will boost your metabolism. It will boost every single thing that you want. Ah, we got a car! <laughs> okay, you probably shouldn't be filming in the middle of the road. It will boost everything that you want to be boosted as a man, as an action-taking alpha male. I feel like I could flip that car over right now. Just pick that motherfucker, pick that motherfucker up and flip it because I did my 20 sprints per week. Now, 20 sprints per week. If you guys just like, actually this is a perfect sprinting pathway. In fact, tomorrow I might film a little sprinting workout right down this pathway. If you just sprint for 10 to 20 seconds, 20 times per week, so that comes out to three sprints per day. You guys, are, it's gonna change your life because your fast twitch muscle fibers, in fact, you have the most fast twitch muscle fibers right in your hamstrings. So by doing maximum intensity anaerobic exercise, like sprinting all out, these damn mosquitoes. <laughs> all right, almost tore a rotator cuff. <laughs> So by just maximum intensity anaerobic exercise, you're firing up those fast twitch muscle fibers. When you're doing this, for instance, jogging, like a bunch of old people around here. No offense to old people, I love old people. If you're just jogging, you're working out your slow twitch muscle fibers. So by working out your fast twitch muscle fibers, you're boosting your metabolism for up to 24 hours after you work out and you're boosting your hormones like HGH and testosterone. So just get in the habit of whenever you feel like doing some cardio, go outside, run some sprints, do five, you know, five, six sprints, take a day off, five, six more. Before you know it, you're gonna have 20 sprints in. In fact, you know what, just do, do yourself a favor. Buy a notebook, it's like 99 cents, two bucks, eight bucks if you get some crazy de decomposed kitten notebook like I bought at Target a couple months ago. Buy a notebook, put 20 check marks, 20 boxes, put sprints in big bold letters. Put it on your refrigerator. Make your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, your stepmom, whoever the hell lives with you. Make them look at it every day too. Cross it off. Get in the habit of doing these habits. Get in the habit of doing these habits. Get that? Habits create habits. 20 check marks. I want you guys to check the box 20 times. It will change your life. I know I'm talking to you like an elementary school child right now, but literally, Put 20 little boxes and check that shit off 20 times every single week. It will change your life. I gotta stay moving because I'm getting eaten up alive by these damn mosquitoes. So tip number, is it five? Five. five. Tip number five is late morning and late afternoon. Another little hack to keep ourselves full. I want you guys to take a handful of raw almonds, big old pawful like this, chew them up, swallow, all that good stuff, and right after you do this, I want you to chug as much water as humanly possible. Now what this is gonna do, it's gonna make you really full. It's going to kind of uh, like, what's the word I'm looking for? Damn it, what's the word I'm looking for? It's going to expand in your stomach, like the almonds, all that fiber, all that protein, and then all that water is gonna make you full. The little trick of almonds and then water right after is one of the greatest hunger hacks of all time. Not to mention almonds are really high in magnesium. And when you're going through, when you're training intensely, you're trying to shed body fat, you're on a caloric deficit, the number one thing that actually gets depleted is your electrolytes and your minerals. And magnesium is the number one mineral deficiency in the entire world. So just by doing this trick, you're number one, making yourself full, and number two, giving yourself a lot more magnesium. And when your magnesium levels are really low, you're gonna crave a lot of junk food. So a little trick to uh, keep those cravings away, stay really full and consume less calories. You know, Mom, I'm, I'm really sorry that I lost my temper with you before. It's just these damn kids. They're just talking shit on the internet about me. They're saying mean things about me. And I just, I have a hard time dealing with the overcooked meatloaf when I come home. Yeah, no, I, I see what you're talking about. No, you know what? If you could actually just prepare my favorite meal, I think I could forgive you. If you could make that, uh, that sea urchin souffle with uh, the mushroom zucchini. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the one Javier made that one time. Yeah, okay. Okay, love you too, bye.
Alright guys, so little uh, retirement home. Okay, little warning. No animals were harmed in making this video. Only my haters. Those baboons. <laughs> Alright, this is dangerous. I'm trying to back up here. Okay, tip number six is what is tip number six? Okay, I don't want you guys to count calories because I know you guys just hate counting calories. You're bad at math. You just slept through math class all through elementary school because I get you guys DMs and it's like, you want to get ripped, you want to get shredded, you don't want to count calories. This is what you got to do. You don't have to count every single calorie. What you have to do is, whoa, getting a little closer. <laughs> getting a little closer. Kitty Gaines. Kitty Gaines back. Yeah. Kitty Gaines is back on the channel. <laughs> Kitty Gaines is getting ready. She's about to be like the feature of the channel when we go to Europe next week. <clears throat> okay, so what I want you guys to do is count your protein and your fiber. And I want you to fill this up as quick as humanly possible. So if you weigh 180 pounds, I want you guys to consume 180 grams of protein at the minimum. Protein is going to be much more thermogenic, thermogenic than fats and carbs. Another thing I want you to count is fiber, 40 grams of fiber at the minimum. So I recommend omega-3 packed fiber. Like I love doing things like chia seeds and hemp seeds, really high in fiber, really high in omega-3s. And of course, lots of vegetables like broccoli, cabbage, just all of your green leafy vegetables. Count your fiber and count your protein and try to fill up these totals as early in the day as possible. And you're gonna notice that you're just naturally gonna get full. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So. Honestly, like I really, I get by throughout most of the year without counting my calories and I stay relatively lean by doing this just because if you're only counting your fiber and your protein, you're naturally going to consume less calories. So that one is such a game changer. Just fill up on the protein and fiber as early in the day as possible and you guys are going to stay shredded. All right guys, so step number seven of seven and you guys are well on your way to getting to 8% body fat is one more little exercise thing. So we're already doing the 20 sprints per week. Now what I want you to do is, I call it seven by seven, seven total sets of squat and deadlift with a 60 second rest time in the eight to 12 rep range until failure. And this is very hard. I know just like saying it, you know, oh, seven sets per week, squat, deadlift, short rest time, eight to 12 reps to failure. It is absolutely brutal, but it only takes about 20 to 30 minutes out of your entire week. And it is going to, once again, when you, you're doing all of this, naturally you're doing things that are gonna boost your energy, your hormones, you're doing the sprints, and then squats and deadlifts are working out like all of your body's largest and strongest muscle groups. So by doing maximum intensity exercises until failure, you guys are gonna transform so fast. And I know, most of you guys, you only care about your chest, your abs, your arms, all that stuff. But the magic with your fat loss and muscle building hormones happens and starts in your lower body. So your quads and your hamstrings, your glutes, you're just such large muscle groups that by training them until failure, you guys are going to have incredible results. So that is my little seven step blueprint on how you can go from 12% to 8% body fat and i'm currently in palm beach florida right now kicking in here for a couple days and i'm on my way to orlando and then the fun begins we are going to be all over europe i'm going to attempt to do some daily vlogging show you guys some lifestyle content of course i got the fat loss videos coming i got so many exciting things on the way if you are subscribed to this channel so make sure you turn on post notifications there's going to be a few videos that are going to be completely different than anything I've ever done on the channel, really anything that's on YouTube right now, so I cannot wait to share them with you guys. I've been working a ton on just different and uh, new and unique content, so I appreciate the support so much, and I will see you guys on the video tomorrow. Hey, make sure you subscribe, because every single day we have a new video on shredding and aesthetics, and sometimes just straight up entertainment. So subscribe, hit that notification bell, so YouTube will blow up your inbox and let you know it is time to get shredded. And if you do that, we will send you a ferocious little baby lion straight to your house.